Welcome to the first episode of the Victorious Podcast. Um, this will just be a nice short introduction episode, just walking through, I guess, what it, it'll all look like. It's just us behind the scenes having a chat about what's been happening in our lives, going into detail about little things happening with the brands, just a little bit of insight with us. Um, I guess we'll start for check-in, which we'll probably do on most episodes. Um, Joseph, boss man, we'll start for you with the check-in. How's life? How's footy? And all the rest. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Um, you know, footy's been good. Uh, little stuff, you know, happening around uh, with me. Haven't been playing as much as I would have liked, but, you know, that's just the way uh, junior reps is, you know, but just got to stay at it, uh, trust the process, you know, I'll get to where I need to be, uh, well in God's timing, but, yeah. Um, you know, everything's been good, bro. I've been good. Uh, just been working, training as always, and, um, yeah, just pumping out content for the brand, bro. Just trying to make it grow. Um, trying to get everyone on board. Just trying to pump out as much content as we can. Um, but yeah, that's me, bro. 100%. Riz? Um, yeah, no, I can't complain. Uh, everything's been going pretty good. Footies, um, obviously, like we haven't been getting as many wins as we probably should be, but um, I feel like we're improving every week, which is good. Um, just finding that balance as well. I find like with um, pumping out, like getting the content done, you know, obviously we've got to all go to work, um, footy, gym, all that sort of stuff. But um, no, I can't complain. Just um, yeah, finding that balance is what I've been trying to do, so I can get like give more time to the brand, footy, and like obviously we got to work and shit like that. So yeah, but yeah, can't complain. Um, I guess my life, um, nothing incredible has been happening. Um, nearly down on the car though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, car's nearly out, out the door. Um, so that was a bit of heartbreaking, $10,000 in repairs needed, but, um, <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> it was, uh, they, they actually, when I got there, they were like, oh, we'll put it up on the hoist for you. And yeah, made me look at the damage done and walk, <laughs> walked me through every specific detail of how bad this car <laughs> truly is. So. That was really awesome, really fun. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, same thing with footy. Um, not having the best kickoff to the year, but it's just good to be back. Um, obviously, for me, it's been such a long time that I'll take the wins and the losses just to be out there on the field. Uh, I'm butting in quick. You uh, uh, made your comeback like, a couple of weeks ago, bro. How was it? Like, bro. I played in about two years. You know, yeah, so it was. I got out there. Um, I was having. A, I actually went out to Brecky before the game with a couple of the fleet boys from Raiders, and they asked me like, "How long do you think you're gonna go?" And I said, "No, I'm gonna go full game. I'm gonna go full game." And I got laughed at. Uh, <laughs> told Mum. Mum laughed at me too. So I had some good support there to get me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, I got 70 minutes. I got 70 minutes out there on the field, which I actually, in reality, was pretty impressed with. Um, yeah, in the middle, bro. Yeah, so obviously it's a different competition. It's not Camper Cup. Um, so there's some things that, you know, aren't at the same standard, but it's footy nonetheless, and it's been two years. So still the same old tough game and still what I enjoy. So yeah. it was good. It was good to be back. Um, and yeah, so just been ticking away at it slowly down in Cooper. Yeah, that's, that's what last. country, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's cold country. That's what. In those mountains, there was. Um, after it was in one of the vlogs too. After one of the games, it was just snowing in Berrydale where yeah. I stay, where my family lives. Stuff that. Yeah, proper. But the good thing about snow is it's not actually that cold. It can only snow at about zero degrees. Oh really? Yeah. If it's any colder, it can't snow. Well, There's your things every day, cats. Yeah. <laughs> Look, in, in a past life, I'm sure I was a weather reporter. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's that's the check in, I guess, with me. Um, I guess the next thing is, one he's touched on it, I think it was, well, both he's touched on with the content. I guess, in your perspective, how's Victorious going? I'll start with you, Rel, since I started with Joe, but what do, what do you reckon? We're headed in the right direction? How do yeah. you feel? I think, um, I think we've been um, starting off really well. I mean, like, it's good that we've had some good motivation talks with Joey, but, um, no, nah, yeah, we're, like, as, as, like, overall, I think we're doing good. We just need to pump out some, some more content, like, from like me and your side of things because yeah. um, as we've been talking about like content is key like if we like pump out some good content and stuff then 
<laughs> I've, got, I've got to interrupt just because it's going to look, it's going to look bad because I was talking, spitting, spitting and preaching, but there, <laughs> I don't know what is happening in the background. <laughs> don't know if it's going to pick up a mic, but there is a fuss happening outside. Or... Um, yeah, sweet. So, Joey, with the brand, how do you think it's going in, in your end? Yeah, the brand, um, yeah, I think it's been going good, bro. Friggin' uh, the first drop, um, first day we sold out... Um, nearly all our stock, there's probably um, 12, shirts, 12 shirts left on the first day, so uh, I was pretty successful. Um, the content's been going all right. Uh, the vlog, our group vlogs have been going pretty decent, but yeah, no, nah, I think we're definitely heading in the right direction. Um, I think if, maybe we just need to get everyone on board, try to build a community and just keep on pushing in the right direction, but yeah, honestly, bro, I thought there was gonna be a little bit more support from, um, camera bro to be honest straight out yeah. I thought there was going to be a little bit more support from you know where uh, where we are all from um, yeah. like there was like we still like sold out a couple more shirts but um, you know just trying to get everyone on board try to build a community um, you know like camera just gets uh, really overlooked and everything yeah 100% so you know we just want to build a good community with everyone all through Canberra um, yeah just try to grow our brand um but yeah, yeah, nah, it's definitely going in the right direction. Um, but yeah, that's about it, bro. Yeah. It's pretty successful, I reckon, the first drop. Content's been going all right. Still trying to grow all our socials. But yeah, nah, once um, we start making some better content, getting everyone on board, nah, I reckon we will start like skyrocketing, bro. Mm. Nah, 100%. Like, I guess I'll be the first one to put my hand up. My content's been lacking. Um, <laughs> I just... <laughs> We're just not, I'm just not with technology, hey. <laughs> um, group vlogs, I'm alright, but yeah, my own stuff, um, TikTok, all the rest, I'll put my hand up. But, like, I'll also be, I guess, vulnerable and say, like, I, like, you know, I would have moved past, I guess, that sort of embarrassment and be like, you know, show your life. Like, I, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think that's something that's hard for me, but, like, you know, I want this to be successful, so. I've got to move past that and like it's a credit to you boys because you're doing it so I guess that's the hard thing too is like you're in a it seems like on social media stuff nearly every other day someone's making a new brand but like realistically like in our lives it's not happening that much so you're sort of an outlier and you you know everyone's sort of looking at you a bit funny and if it if it doesn't work out they all laugh at you and if it does work out they do laugh at you still so it's like yeah, no. that's the hard thing but like yeah I think we are heading in the right direction I think we're doing pretty well with it, so I think it's just making it our making it our way and adding our bit of flair to it. But yeah, I think I think we're doing well. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Freaking with content and that, bro, you just gotta like try not care what people think, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah I know like exactly. even when you're walking around in the street, bro, videoing and filming, yeah. like yeah. people staring at you, you just gotta like just not care because. Their opinion does not matter, anyways. No, 100%. Like, That's so just gonna do us. But see, in Sydney, it's so easy. Like, I'm never gonna see any of it. Like, when I was recording the vlog for um, my tattoo, like, when I, was, I was like, I'm never seeing any of you ever again. I couldn't yeah. hear it. Like, what? But in Canberra, bro, Canberra's such a small place. Like, but yeah, like, but, like, we, like I said, like, we want to build a community. Um, yeah. If everyone's like rocking with us, uh, watching our content and that, like, when we build a good connection with everyone, like, we shouldn't feel shy. Yeah, that sort of thing. Like, yeah. Maybe we'll see some people out and like they'll say hi and say that they watch our videos and that, you know, yeah. maybe yeah. one day, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's, that's that sort of kids. stuff's sort of like already happening now. Like, when, like, I've been out a couple of times, like, repping our shirts and things like that and people like, like, oh, you know, when's the next drop or like, can are people still asking me like, oh, is that, like, what, how do I go about getting a shirt or like, you know, like that sort of stuff. So yeah, no. people are already like sort of on board, but yeah. we just need to like, yeah, but that's the same, like, that's what Joey said, like, I was, not, like, I guess it all depends on the time, too, but, yeah, like, Canberra got behind us, but, like, it was a little bit, I thought we were going to definitely clean out of stock and things like that, but we, we nearly have now at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we like, nearly did in the first day, like I said, but, yeah. no, I think we just need to get everyone on board, like, yeah. you know, try to uh, prove to, like, rest of Australia, the world, that, you know, Canberra is something, and, um, yeah. like, all of us here, you know, like have pride from where we are from sort of thing and like put Canberra on the map sort of thing yeah, but, yeah, yeah like you know Sydney and all that like always gets looked at like the top dog but you know, even with everything sports as well, sports as well yeah, like yeah, Canberra just gets looked at as like nothing but I so, said 
I, I reckon like once everyone like starts coming together, uh, we can really take this far. Um, start collabing with some people and content. Mm. You know, even there's any up and coming rappers or content creators in Canberra, you know, start collabing, making some content. You know, really start um, getting our name out there and like, getting Canberra's name out there as well. Yeah, yeah hundred percent. I think that's like the big thing too for like us is we we put like we want to be a part of the community. We don't want to be like make the money and run off sort of thing like yeah. this is this has been home for us for or well, for you guys your whole life and Canberra's always looked out for me so yeah. that'd be a big one it's just sort of like helping everyone else it's not just about us like yeah. it's about getting everyone on board yeah 100% I reckon like once we start getting bigger as well like we've already talked about it uh, doing community events um, yeah. yeah just like even just going down to the course playing basketball to win some free clothes or whatever, you know, yeah, get yeah. everyone out being active and doing all this. Uh, once we start making some more money, um, going around and feeding the homeless with the money that we've made, yeah. them type of things, you know, really looking after the community. But yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah, it's just one of those things. It's time, but it's new too. Like, yeah, you know, this is a couple months in the process. And yeah, I'm just still learning. Yeah, yeah, I think that's been the big one too. Is the learning process because that's you just got to go about it differently to everyone else. But like stay within that main sort of, yeah. I guess formula. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it's a it's a hard one. Like, but yeah, that's for me personally. That I guess that's something I want to work through. But you know, like this weekend's group vlog, group vlog. Yeah, group vlog. Yeah, group vlog. Um, so yeah, like that'll be good. And I reckon like we're heading towards. What, like, how long was the last one? Uh, about. Actually, I don't know. I feel like it was one of our longest ones. But like we're getting... Yeah, the last one was solid when you went to Townsville. Yeah, <laughs> yeah t- t- tell us about that, Riz. What um, the fuck Townsville? Oh, wait, like my trip? Yeah, answer. yeah. Well, it was my only, well, not my only buy, but we had a buy that weekend for like, like footy and that, and I was just over camera, to be honest, the cold weather and that, and Dante, um, you know, one of my mates was up there, and... I just went down there for four days, I think. Four yeah, days. Like I just went up there and um, yeah, just kicked back up there. Good weather. I know like most of his family up there, so yeah, pretty good. Just to change from Canberra. Look, I've never been up there. Right? Is it? It's good, mad, bro. good spot. I it's mad, yeah. It's um like the weather's like now the weather's like good. When I went up before, like in summer, it was, oh, you know, you're going to sleep and it's like thirty degrees. Yeah, like, it's cracked. Like, yeah, You'd die, Joey. Hundred percent. I wouldn't be far off it. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I'd be in hospital, but you'd be dead. Right? Like, it's the only place I've been to where, like, the ocean water is like it's like a bath. Right? Like, you know, every time we go, like, well, it's down the coast or something, it's yeah. freezing. The water, like, the ocean water there is like warm, warm as. Oh. It's like you don't even, like no one's really swimming during the day because there's no point. Yeah. You swim to get like. Get refreshed in that, but we just swim for no reason. <laughs> just warm. Yeah. But no, like, yeah, it was good. Good to just get a little break from Canberra, change the weather and that. Yeah. Yeah, I went. Right, so, like, the tattoo. Wow, what time did I leave mine? I think I left mine at like five or something ridiculous. 5 30 maybe. I uh, woke up at. In the morning? Yeah. Because I wanted to day trip it. Um, usually I go to Melbourne for my tattoos. Yeah. But I was like, nah, or oh, like, this chick, she specialises in. Um, Aboriginal tattoos so I was like well I've got to go to her yeah. um, so I went to her in Sydney which was like that was easy I didn't have to pay for flights I'm lucky in Melbourne my cousin lives there so I don't have to pay for accommodation but it was like way cheaper process um, but I got to Sydney and like lately I've been like oh you know would I live in Sydney sort of thing like the answer's no uh, <laughs> it is Oh, it's ridiculous. So I was like right in Surrey Hills, like right in the centre. Oh, it was crazy. It was like insane. And then at, so I've done like the first like half of the session. I go down for my 30 minute break at like one o'clock like, for lunch. And I'm down there like on the corner of this street, just like leaning up against the door, um, having a bung. And this poor, like it was super sweet. Um, Pat New Guinea comes up to me and he's like, does, does this, like, payphone work? And I was like, yeah, right, it's free. Like, all of them are free now. He was like, this number's not working. He was like, kept showing me this number. And I was like, it should work well. Like, this, this is a perfectly reasonable Australian number. <laughs> and I was like, and I looked at it and I was like, 
how are you putting it in? I said, what were you, because I'd written on it six one instead yeah. of like zero. He was like, I was putting in six one. And I was oh, like, no, no, no. And so he was like, like, why do I have to put in zero instead of six one? Instead of six one, I was like, I don't have time to tell you. Like, I don't even know why. This is <laughs> <laughs> I said, trust me. So I walked him over to the phone booth and I was like, put it in. And it was like, ring for ages. And he was like, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And he goes, oh, sis. <laughs> and then sat there, like talking. I was like, right about, like, I'm, I'm off then. I'll talk to you later. I went back upstairs, got my tattoo. Come out at like 5.30. He's still there. <laughs> He's still there talking. And so like, when I originally helped him, he was like, oh, I was meant to meet my sister here to like pick me up like I've just gotten into the country like and he was oh, like man. he was fresh like brand new Lowe's like Hawaiian yeah. shirt and stuff yeah. he was looking mint but <laughs> like he still hadn't been picked up apparently she was meant to meet him then it's, it's 5.30 at, at night now in Surrey Hills and he's still having like did he have like suitcases and yeah like he had like yeah. one like little suitcase yeah did he ever get picked up oh well you should I didn't have him home bro yeah. <laughs> well, that, well Lord knows where he was going. I, was, I had to get a camera. I was not going to go in the middle of peak hour traffic to pack that up. <laughs> but yeah, and then after that, I was like, well, I'm not going to rush out. Like, it's the middle of peak hour traffic. So I went to like Josh Faye's, which was funny as because you messaged me and you're like, guess who I just saw at the Oval? And it was like, Faye's missing. So I went around to their place. First thing I walk in the door, Monique. Guess who I saw at the Oval? I was like, it wouldn't have happened to be Jojo, was it? She goes, how do you know? <laughs> but, so I sat around there for ages, um, had a good feed, and then, yeah, but I was just recording the whole time walking around. No shame whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you mean, yeah. that's better. Like, I feel like they're used to it too. Like, everyone's yeah, just like, looking at me like, oh, yeah. another one. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot more content creators, like, yeah. It's like, there's probably people walking around all day, oh. taking videos of themselves. Sort 100%. Of thing. But yeah, it'd be way more normalised there. But yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. Cambridge is real, like, I don't know, bruh. just feels like, I don't know if judgmental is a word, but, like, I remember the first thing I ever, like, picked up on when I moved here was when you're walking past the street and no one says hi or anything. Mm. Like, in Dubbo, it's sort of, like, old country fellas, you're like, hey, mate, like, you know, hi, yeah. oh, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But then, like, I moved to Canberra, like, when I was, like, first time I moved when I was super young. I just wasn't getting a bar of it from anybody. <laughs> <laughs> just getting cold shouldered, like. Yeah, yeah, nah, sort of, yeah, I know. <coughs> but, like, I don't know if that, like, it's probably, realistically, it's probably just like a big city thing, but, like, that was one of the first things I noticed. Like, if something is weird in camera, there's full, you're getting stared at. You're just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's like Lonsdale Street at 3 in the morning, then. <laughs> <laughs> Then you'll sort of get praised for it, but... <laughs> Speaking of Lonsdale Street, <laughs> three in the morning, Ralph, been out lately? Um, oh, when I was up in Townsville, that was the last time oh. I was out, yeah. What's the nightlife up, like, up there? Well, it, they close, they close, like, early at... Lockout because, laws? Yeah, yeah. well, they um, apparently, I heard this, because, like, as soon as, it, like, when they used to be open for long or whatever, like, that, um, there were just fights everywhere, yeah. like, they just start like fighting... And it's bad. So they they close like I think two thirty or three. Yeah. So it's like not Save. here to like six or something. Yeah. Like, that. like cause yeah, that's oh. the one good thing like here is the laws when you're going out are so much better. Like yeah. I remember my first time going out back in Dubbo. I was sitting there like and you know like the night like usually like by like two o'clock three o'clock that's when like the night gets good because yeah. all the ones that are like oh you know I'm a bit tired like, they're gone like you're yeah. now with the, <laughs> you're now with the dedicated so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're here like to ride this one out um oh actually but there's a club up there called Mad Cow and like a, like you know I listen to yeah. country music and that and it was like country music but like 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 the old ones that everyone knows but like and like the new stuff that's like pretty good oh yeah like and I was like that was pretty hectic I reckon but that that club is like it's like one of those ones I can see me like the Argyle like massive. Not not as big though. Yeah, as that, but like there's you got the downstairs and then there's like two different bits upstairs, but it was like packed like body to body and it's just hot as well. Like, just dripping sweat. Yeah. You can't get a drink. You wouldn't but stand out, Joey. But they <laughs> like they most of their clubs they have like um like when you go there you get like this thing for free drinks. And there's like oh. a couple of clubs like around there that just get like free drinks or you go and it'll be free drinks for like an hour or something like that. Man. It's dangerous. I reckon I was listening to the Bloke in the Bar podcast 
and like Danny Kemp was saying, I'm sure it was Townsville. He was saying it was like one of the like when you knew you were playing in Townsville, like you knew you were going to be in for like a big night after the game. Like, <laughs> like you packed your nice jeans first. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's hectic. Yeah, that was pretty good. Because I was actually I was having this yarn the other day in, in the city in one of my finest moments. I was talking to one of the DJs at Hopscotch, like he works at Hopscotch. Um, and I was like, bro, you just, you just got to slide a cheeky little country song in there. Just a little bit of like, good party and country music. And he was like, I'm literally not allowed to. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I was like, which is true. And I knew that. But I was like, you know, you're like one of their most dedicated like DJs, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe a slap in the wrist or something. And then I said like, I reckon I would open a country country music bar here yeah, and I reckon go off. yeah go I reckon off. I'd be I reckon I'd do it right across from Cube <laughs> <laughs> get a couple of bareback cowboys in there <laughs> 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 oh, but yeah that's funny as that you actually mentioned that because yeah a country music nightclub would go hard but of course Townsville has it it's, it's the place to be but Joey you don't go out much in Sydney because why would you for footy and yeah bro uh, no I don't go out at all um, just on the grind lad, trying to make NRL 100% bro I, I wouldn't trust Sydney I would not trust it I've been out there I mean, I've been out twice there and one time was really good the other time was like completely average an Indian man <laughs> threatened me with a cricket bat in an alleyway <laughs> after <laughs> causing a fuss in his car but yeah it would, it's not worth it there Fellas <laughs> get stabbed. Fellas get stabbed. Mm. You'd risk a bad rail. Yeah, I've risked it. I've risked it. Um, nah, they're just they're sh- like pretty strict because of all like the gang stuff. And, yeah. Like, strict with what you wear, especially yeah. well for guys really. Like yeah. the girls are pretty sweet. They can sort of do their thing. But, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Joey, like off clubbing. Since you want to talk about the NRL, since you're the man, the dedicated man. Um, <laughs> what's like I guess what's a week looking like for you now like you're not playing but obviously you've still got to be up to that standard to mm. crack back into the teams and or like be consistently in the team so like what's like a normal week looking like for you training wise and extras wise um yeah so uh, it depends what day we play uh, the flick team but so we just play on Saturday. Uh, we'll go in on Monday, have training. Um, if it was a big day, a uh, big game, I should say, um, they'll give us the Monday off as well, so a couple more days recovery. Um, we'll just go in, do video. Um, Tuesday, I don't know, just depends how I'm feeling. My knees have been a bit bad lately. Eh? And my back, <laughs> bro, been That's some crook for a long time, though. But, um, yeah, I'll probably just try to pump out at least one extra session a week, uh, mainly just working on um, things that I need to work on uh, for my game specific. And then Wednesday uh, we'll have um, field session, uh, gym obviously. Um, and yeah, we go pretty hard then. And then not much else, bro. Like if I'm playing, um, we'll have captain's run Friday and then game Saturday. But if I'm not playing, um, then I'll go to Slack. Like, Reserve grade for Fleet in Sydney, basically. Yeah. Go into that, uh, do their captain's run, and then play on the weekend. But, you know, my year's been alright, bro. It's been a bit, it's been doing my head in a little bit. Uh, Interesting. Dog's going wild. Dog's going wild. <laughs> it's quite a, who knows what's going on out there, to be honest. 20 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, uh, yeah. Because um, I had like a, I had a good as year, I reckon last year yeah. for myself was pretty good. And then I sort of just expected um, I was just going to roll in this year and you know, everything was going to happen for me because I had the biggest like, off season of my life. Yeah. That mapped out, planned out, uh, it was probably the most professional off season I've ever had uh, with gym, recovery, um, diet, field sessions, like yeah. pumping out. Like 100%. I was like going like crazy, but like in a good way. And then, yeah, I could come back. I still had a good preseason. I've been, like, up to standard, 100%. Yeah. Everything I've been doing is good, but um, just, like, some orders from higher above, I guess. Yeah. Just a bit of politics, all the rest. 
yeah, like I believe hundred percent that I should be in there, and, like hundred percent, hands down. Yeah. But you know, um, like it's just shit. You can't really control it. Yeah, just yeah. gotta control what I control. Um, yeah. Keep that positive mindset. You know, I'm still young, can play uh, flag again next year. Anyway. Yeah. Well, like with I guess you take the highs with the lows. Do you focus anything like mentally? Like uh, it's becoming a real big trend. Nico Hines won Daly M and like he gave massive credits to his like mental health coach basically. Um, like do you like you know, it's that life balance with footy? Do you train or like I guess meditate? Do anything like that to help mentally as much as you do physically? Funny you say that, bro. Um, Babs, my mentor. Um, I started doing like subconscious training. Yeah. So basically, um, I write down like. So it's, well, obviously it's for footy, but basically I write down, I have this book, and I write it down every day, um, like what I need to work on uh, in my footy, like in my game, so subconsciously, like, yeah. when yeah, I get yeah, into yeah. that moment, like... Keeping that in mind. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that sort of thing, it's like already been done, sort of thing. Yeah. So I write that down every day, and then um, I tell myself, like, I'm going to make it every single day, like I write it down. Uh, there's a little bit more than that, but my work on, so I tell myself that I'm going to make it, and, like, um, and then, yeah, just say, like, how I want to live my life and just basically run that down every day to train my subconscious. So, yeah, and then, I don't know, it's like when people say, like, um, talking stuff into existence. Yeah. Mm, like, yeah, sort of yeah, like yeah. that. Um, yeah. You know, the confidence you got to have, I guess, to be, like, a professional athlete, like, have it done myself, but you got to think you're the best. Yeah. So you got to tell yourself you're the best. Like, even um, some people think, like, mistake your um, confidence for arrogance like that's how you have to be if you want to be a professional yeah. athlete you got to believe in yourself that much otherwise like yeah. if, you, if you doubt yourself you're probably not going to make it to be honest yeah. but yeah like that's basically what I've been doing um, for a while now just doing that every day um, yeah that's basically all I do for my mental health uh, sometimes you know, I'm always like looking after my mental health yeah. but I'm pretty strong minded like yeah. um, Head. Pretty good, <laughs> pretty good awesome. within my own head. Um, like obviously, some days are bad days, as everyone would. Yeah. But you know, I know what I got to do to get myself back on track. But yeah, that's basically about it, bro. I'm just uh, praying every day, bro. Yeah. Um, just keeping my faith, uh, trusting God's plan that you know I'll get to where I need to be, yeah. um, and just let Him, Jesus, uh, take control over my life to wherever that may be. Um, ready to go there. Amen. Amen. But yeah, so, I guess that's the, I guess that's pure coverage over what life's been like for us behind the scenes. Um, we might as well just wrap it up here. So, like I said, this is just the introduction, nice and short. Um, next ones will probably be longer, whatever we can arrange them. But, um, yeah, it'll just be like this. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you get around us on all social media that we're on. So, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, and that's about it. That's about it. So make sure you get on there, get okay. around us, keep your eyes out. We've got some stuff coming soon. We're working on the second drop. Ooh. Um, Ooh. We've got these two designs here. Uh, there's a couple more shirt designs, but these are the hoodies that will be coming out. Uh, just going to adjust the logo on the hoodie, make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, the second drop is going to be a good one, so stay ready for that. And um, yeah, if anyone wants to collab uh, within Canberra and make content, uh, reach out, um, send us a DM on Insta. Uh, we're keen to start working with some people and um, growing our brand. Uh, yeah, and just really start pushing in um, a good direction, even though we already are, but we're just trying to blow up, sort of thing. But yeah, um, that's about it for me, mate. How to say it? Well, that's a wrap. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.